believe that God's timing is always right. He knows exactly what He's doing. He's not withholding good from you. He is preparing you. In fact, the storm you're facing wasn't meant to destroy you. It can actually lift you to a higher level. Hey, I'm Terry Savell Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. You know, not too long ago, I received a phone call from a very famous actor who watches our YouTube channel. I was so blessed to know that he and his wife enjoy our teaching because I love his movies. Well, he said they just needed some wisdom. You know, he had some setbacks, was feeling a little discouraged. Um, he had three Oscar considerations but hadn't won the Oscar yet and was just feeling a bit disappointed and needed the push, you know, to just get the fight back. Well, I explained, number one, of course, Go get that vision back out. I said, you need to get a photo, even if it's of Leonardo DiCaprio with an Oscar, chop his head off and put your head on it. <laughs> do what you got to do. I said, you got to look at that vision as a reminder of where you're headed. And I explained to him how, you know, even with pilots, sometimes we encounter storms and detours and, and pilots sometimes have to chart an alternate course to get to their destination but it doesn't mean they won't get there. Just may not be the route you thought you would take. I said, get back in the plane and get to your destination. Well, the second thing I told him is, believe that God's timing is always right. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's not withholding good from you. He is preparing you. In fact, the storm you're facing wasn't meant to destroy you. It can actually lift you to a higher level. You know, I think about eagles which I just happen to have, and they actually use the storm to their advantage. You know, when the clouds gather, the eagles get excited. The eagle uses the wings of the storm to rise and be lifted higher. So the storm in your life, it can be used to take you to a whole new level. You know, I think about successful people that you've probably heard a lot of these stories. People like Michael Jordan. You know, Michael Jordan said, I have missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. He said, I've lost almost 300 games. He even said on 26 occasions, I've been entrusted to take the winning shot and I missed. He said, I have failed over and over and over again in my life. Then he said this, and that's why I succeed. In other words, don't give up, you stay focused. Or you think about tennis player, Stan Smith. You know, he was rejected from even being like the lowly ball boy for the Davis Cup tennis match because the organizers thought he was too clumsy and uncoordinated. Well, he went on to prove him wrong, showcasing his not so clumsy skills by winning Wimbledon, the US Open. I think he won eight Davis Cups, maybe even more, but he had to stay focused. Even though he lost a lot, he was put down, he stayed focused. Well. What about the legend, Babe Ruth, which I just happen to have a bat. Well, you probably know Babe Ruth because of his home run record. I think it was 714 during his career. But along with all the home runs came tons of strikeouts. Last I was told it was like 1,330 strikeouts. In fact, for decades, he held the record for strikeouts. But when asked about his, his, you know, simplicity and like, how did you do this? This is what he said. Every strike brings me closer to a home run. Well, my question for you is what's your story? It could be the storm you're facing right now. You couldn't reach your destiny without it. You know, I've said in the past how David would just be a shepherd boy if it weren't for Goliath. Goliath was placed in his path, not to defeat him, but to promote him. Well, what you're facing may look like a setback, but it's really a setup to promote you. And when you overcome this obstacle, you step up to another level. I want you to remember this. What you think is a setback is a setup. Think of that. You know, you may have been through major disappointments and it feels like, you know, you've taken three steps back or, or maybe three steps forward, two steps back, but you're still a step ahead. This is not the time to turn back and give up. This is not the time to feel sorry for yourself or compare yourself with other people. You know, I, I was listening to Joel Osteen the other day and he was telling a story about the boll weevil, which <laughs> I asked him to print me a picture of the boll weevil. I thought it looked more like a squirrel or like a chipmunk. <laughs> I saw that going differently, but this is the boll weevil apparently. So they're, they're laughing at me, but in the early 1900s, 
farmers in Alabama were facing this major challenge. A tiny insect called the boll weevil was to, oh yeah, it was a tiny insect. I remember hearing the story, but still, I thought it was like this furry animal. Anyway, the tiny insect was destroying their crops. They tried everything to stop it. You know, they exterminated, they developed special formulas, nothing was working. All they could do was watch their livelihood be eaten away by this ugly little thing. <laughs> well, a farmer had an idea. He thought, well, instead of planting our normal crops, why don't we just try planting peanuts? They looked at him like he was crazy. We can't make a living off of peanuts. Well, they discovered that the boll weevil doesn't like peanuts. So their crops took off like nothing they'd ever seen. They made more off of the peanuts in a few months than they made the whole year off of the cotton crops. Well, when the boll weevils finally left, they never went back to planting cotton again. They stuck with the peanuts. What am I saying? God can turn your boll weevils into peanuts. <laughs> if you stay focused in the storm, use this storm to lift you higher. And the final point that I also shared with this actor, and this is the game changer. Speak God's word out of your mouth. This is what causes the tide to turn. You know, the Bible says we serve a God who gives life to the dead and he speaks of non-existent things as if they already exist. Well, you have to speak to your circumstances. Command your metabolism to speed up. Declare the favor of God as opening doors for you and promoting you. Speak to the marriage to be restored. Speak to your finances and declare that your spirit attracts God-inspired ideas that produce millions of dollars. You know, when Jesus was faced with temptation out in the wilderness, the devil tried to get him to give in and to quit on his destiny. And do you know the way Jesus defeated the devil was with three words? It is written. And he spoke the word of God. Now, before we close out, I'd love to recognize our YouTube subscriber of the week. This week, it's someone called Blessed Abundantly. I love that name. They're declaring it every time they type it, huh? It says, Terry and team, it is always a blessing to watch each week. You have no idea how much you've changed my life and my future. I love it. It says, I have daily habits. I read books. I journal. I have positive affirmations. A vision book. I speak of my future and I thank the Lord for the things I dream about as if they already are. Blessed Abundantly is doing exactly what we're teaching today. It says, and that is all since November. Wow. All these things were inspired by watching your show. The Lord saw fit to have you in my path and I'm truly thankful. Well, Blessed Abundantly, I'm the one who's thankful that God connected us. You're watching, you're changing your life, you're changing your habits. So thank you so much for taking the time to write in. And before we close, if you are ready to take your life to a whole new level, make sure you follow this podcast. I'm not here to talk to you. I'm here to guide you, to help you live your dreams the best way I know how, and that's from experience. So click the button right now and start following us. And you know what? I really want you to get these seven power scriptures to help you change your perspective. All you have to do is click the link in the description to get your list and start speaking them out immediately. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. So click the link in the description or go to terry.com slash power scriptures to get your free download. And don't forget, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest so I can keep you cheered on to live your dreams. And ladies, one more thing. Don't forget to register for icing. It's coming up. It only happens once a year here in Dallas, Texas. Just go to terry.com slash icing. Get registered today and I'll see you there.